what up guys and welcome back to another video with shandy today is going to be my very first story time and it's what going who it's going to be about the time that i got snatched bald like literally take you back let me take you back so in december of 2015 the I was at school. I was going to Alabama State. I just graduated in May. Yeah, yeah. But the end of the semester was coming up, and I had just bought some bundles. And I went to this girl who did hair across campus. Now she was doing the dancers' hair, the girls who did band. She was doing everybody's hair, and she was doing a real good job, or at least it looked like it on social media. So I went to her, and I got my hair done, and I'm going to insert some pictures. But my hair was fucking slayed. She slayed my hair, but. While she was doing her install, I was getting a full sew-in. I told her it was too tight. It was just too tight at the top. But she insisted that this is what she usually does to all her clients who get full installs. And she suggested that when I got home, because it was so tight, why not get in the shower, wet my hair with some warm water in the shower, and it will loosen it up. So that's what I did. So time goes by and the winter semester is over. I go back home to DC and it's it's still December and I take my hair out like a week before Christmas. Yeah, I think it was a week before Christmas and I take my hair out and y'all are gonna cry at this photo with me. Oh my God. It was a gaping hole. Well, it wasn't a hole, but it was a patch in the middle of my fucking head. Like a whole patch. Do y'all see that picture? I was fucking bald in the middle of my head. So guess what I did? Hey, uh, I called several times, no answer. So I sent a very long and I guess detailed text message saying, Hey, what the fuck? I just took my hair out and there's a bald spot in the middle of my head and blah, blah, blah. Basically cursed the person out. And they responded and they were like, they're so sorry because they don't understand what happened. The way they installed my hair was the same way they installed everyone else's hair. And I was just not here for it. I was pissed off. So... We go back to school, it's the start of the spring semester, and I'm sitting in a calf with my friends. By this time, I didn't cut off my hair or nothing. I just left the bald spot there, and I thought I could treat my hair. Get oil treatments and special products, Dr. Miracle, a bunch of other products that are supposed to stimulate your hair and help your hair grow. So... I was taking care of my hair, and then I was also wearing wigs. That did not help. The, from the spring semester to the end of the school year, I was stressing like fucking crazy. From issues at school, to issues in my relationship, to just issues all over. So, as you saw in that picture, that was the size of the bald spot. By June of that year, <laughs> that bald spot grew to about the size of this cap in the middle of my <laughs> in the middle of my fucking head. So I decided to cut it all out. I I didn't see a chance of my hair growing back after that, but I just cut it all off. So, before cutting it off, I cut my hair off in July of 2014. 
And before cutting it off, that spring semester, I was going to see a dermatologist. And at my visits, they would give me steroids that would stimulate hair growth right in the center of my head. Ooh, it was, it was painful. I mean, I like needles, but a needle in your head, that shit hurt. But eventually, I didn't... The hair would grow back small, slow, and steady. But I felt like if I would have cut all my hair off and started over, everything would have came together. So when I cut my hair in July of 2014, that's when my hair started growing back. It was all even. It was all... It was good. That was just... That's what did it for me. Going to all these people who do hair. Like growing up, not a lot of people touched my head. It was either my mom or someone in my family. No one outside of my family touched my hair. But you know, as you get older and you go off to college and you go away to school and you make friends, you trust your friends, you trust people who do your friends' hair. And some people are good and some people leave you with bald spots. <laughs> But my hair is grown. I, that was just a time where shit went downhill. Trusting somebody's pictures off the gram. So, never again. I only stick to certain people doing my hair. I have a stylist now. And she does great jobs. And I'll put her information in the description box below because why not send her some clients? Because she is the reason that my hair is as healthy as it is. I'm, my shit still, my shit is nappy. Shit like a Brillo pad. <laughs> but the reason it's grown so much is because of her. And I truly appreciate it. Her services, her techniques are all natural and I freaking love it. Y'all could go check out her work on her Instagram. I'll, like I said, I'll link everything in the description box below. But that's it for this story time. That's the time that I got snatched aboard from a simple, full install. But thanks for sticking around with me, guys. If you made it to the end of the video, Comment below hashtag Martian Mob and go to my Instagram, which will be linked in the description box, and hashtag Martian Mob on the bottom of my most recent photo. And like this like this video, thumbs it up, comment, and if you aren't already subscribed, subscribe. And if you are subscribed, thanks for being here with your girl. Because you know what this is? It's Martian Mob. <laughs> but like I said, thanks for watching this video. And I'll see you in the next one.